Welcome back. Fourth of July is tomorrow, which means many people will be setting off fireworks. According to the National Safety Council, thousands of people a year get injured during this holiday. And here to give us some safety tips on this is Dr. Vishal Galati. Thank you so much for being here from Jupiter Medical Center, of course. So I was reading some statistics. More than 10,000 people are dealing with firework injury related um, visits to the emergency room. 73% of that happening on the 4th of July, even deaths attributed to this. So this is something people really need to take seriously. Yeah, it is a serious thing. And of course, as you can imagine with 4th of July, it's mostly firework and fire related injuries. So obviously little children are vulnerable to this kind of um, problem, especially with sparklers. Uh, quite often people don't know that sparklers can heat up to thousands of degrees, which wow. can result in injuries to the hands, even face and eyes. And we do see those common injuries on the fourth. And I think sometimes you think, oh, it's a sparkler. You know, a child can, you know, wave it around, have some fun. We're not giving them obviously these, you know, huge fireworks to be, to be handling. But yeah, I mean, that, that gets, that's like extremely, extremely hot. Right. And at that young age, they don't really understand the dangers of fire or fireworks. So it's best. And I always recommend to parents who have young children to not have fireworks around them or to take them to a planned show. We have several in our mm -hmm. area in Palm Beach County. So that's something to look up if you want to give the home display a miss and not so much DIY. Right. Dr. Galati, what about um, the injuries that you see in the ER? I mean, what kind of injuries are we talking about? I know they're firework related, but mostly hands, mm -hmm. um, burns, things like that. Yeah. So besides uh, burns to the hand, like I said, any exposed body part, also, we see injuries related to explosions from inside the house as well, from people cooking or alcohol-related injuries, motor vehicle collisions. So it's not just firework-related injuries. It's just safety in general around the holidays, and that's something that we need to uh, tell our community about and kind of keep them aware of how to be safe on the holiday. So what do we want to let people know ahead of tomorrow? So uh, number one, I would say read the labels of the fireworks. Most of what we're talking about today is actually on the label of the firework. Don't handle it um, when you're under the influence of alcohol. Um, don't point it at buildings, people, or, or um, things that are flammable, that kind of thing. And then obviously safety inside the house. You know, food handling is very important, so not handling uh, raw vegetables or cooked foods around raw meats mm -hmm. and um, uh, avoiding fire hazards or cuts and scrapes, have a first aid kit handy, that kind of thing, and knowing where your nearest emergency room or when to contact emergency services. What about barbecuing? I know a lot of people will be bar bar barbecuing tomorrow. Yeah, so barbecue safety is very important too, especially with hot coals and using hot coals. Propane tanks, obviously very important to keep those safe and um, to just kind of understand what hazards are in the way and obviously keeping the children safe and away from the dangers of fire. All right, anything we missed that you want to add? No, I just want to uh, wish everyone a safe and fun holiday weekend. And we're always here locally in the community. Our emergency department's fully staffed and waiting for anything that does happen Hopefully that goes Hopefully you don't see anyone, right? But you're there if they need you. All right, thank you so much. And for more information on just safety tips, you can go to our website and search 4th of July. Stephen, over to you.